So you just want to know some basic code to control your animations. Not a problem. For this tutorial, I've created some demo code to help you understand how this works. I'm just going to show you how to use it in this video, but in the next video, I'll explain line by line exactly how it really works. That being said, this is not a substitute for a full animation system. All right. Once you have downloaded the scripts, drag them into your project, and then drag both of them into your character. Up here under ref, select your character's animator, and under actions, tell it how many animations you want want your character to have. For now, let's just assume that you're gonna have the basic three. So idle, walk, and one random attack. Make sure that these names are exactly the same as the ones in the controller. Then for each animation, ask yourself, can you jump or attack in the middle of this animation? If you can, set neutral to true. Otherwise, set it to false. Tell Unity how many frames this animation is supposed to last. Then decide what animation should come after this one is over. If this is a looping animation, like idle or walking, set it to negative one. If you type zero, after this animation is over, it'll go to idle. If you type 1, it would transition to running instead. Usually after you attack, it transitions to idle. So we're gonna set this one to 0. Finally, how fast does it transition to the next animation? 0 means no transition at all, and 1 means very slow transition. Once you have done that, in the inspector, drag this script into the tutorial example, and open it up. Now the point of this whole script is to control the Y value in our animation controller. And you may recall that the Y value affects walking forwards and backwards backwards in our blend tree. At the top we create a variable to represent y, and at the end we set y to that value. So all this basically says is if the up arrow is pressed, the y value should go up to 1. When the up arrow is released, the y value should go down to 0. And if you play the game and press the up arrow key, you'll notice that's exactly what happens. It goes to 1 when you hold it down, and it goes to 0 when you let it go. If you change this to negative 1, we would see you're walking backwards instead of forwards. This just references the animations you set up here. This sets them up at the start, and this just tells our animations to play. Now, I know the rest of this tree may look a little confusing, but here's what's really happening. At the beginning, it checks if the current frame is neutral. If you are in a neutral animation like idle or walking, then check if the player has pressed the Y or up arrow keys. If the player pressed Y, then transition to animation 2 at a speed of 0.4. Animation 2, by the way, is up smash. 0 is idle, and 1 is walking. If you are pressing the up arrow, transition to the walking animation at a speed of 0.3, and if you aren't pressing anything, transition to the idle animation at a speed of 0.4. And that's really it. If you just layer this on top of whatever movement engine you have, you're in a pretty good spot to finish a basic top-down RPG. Of course, instead of Y and up arrow, you would map these buttons to a proper input manager, but that is for another tutorial. Anyway, hope that helps. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.